In January 2021, the Daygas Group announced the carbon neutral vision aiming for net zero emissions by 2050. To realize this aspiration, we are working on effective initiatives and practical solutions. Over the past few years, our business environment has undergone rapid changes. Japan's transition to a low-carbon society has gained momentum with the government's April 2021 announcement of a 46% reduction target in greenhouse gas emissions by 2030. Meanwhile, energy security has become an urgent issue for the country due to changing global economy and heightened volatility in the energy market. Under these circumstances, the Daygas Group strives to ensure energy supply stability and security and achieve the carbon neutrality of energy for a sustainable future. On March 9, 2023, the Daygas Group released Energy Transition 2030 to share with stakeholders its strategy for achieving carbon neutrality by 2050. Energy Transition 2030 serves as a testament to our commitment to creating value for a sustainable future with stakeholders by taking on the challenge of resolving social issues in the energy field. We made this announcement to promote a deeper understanding of the overall picture of our transition to low carbon and carbon neutral energy, as well as our initiatives and solutions for a lower carbon society in 2030. The Daygas Group pursues multiple carbon neutral options, such as e-methane, renewable energy, hydrogen, and ammonia to provide optimal energy carriers through supply methods best suited to customers' energy consumption locations and purposes such as power and heat generation. To minimize the social cost of the energy transition, especially in the thermal energy space, we take a two-phased approach to net zero emissions following the Japanese government's energy policy principle of S plus 3E, safety, energy security, economic efficiency, and the environment. Our primary focus up to 2030 is fuel conversion from coal and oil to natural gas to reduce emissions. After 2030, we will intensify our efforts to introduce e-methane and biogas to contribute to a seamless transition to a net-zero society towards 2050. In the meantime, we will promote the utilization of hydrogen and ammonia and decarbonize power sources by expanding renewable generation capacity and achieving zero emissions in thermal power generation. For customers in the hard-to-abate industry, we will offer net-zero solutions utilizing CO2 value chains we are developing, including carbon capture and storage. For the carbon neutrality of gas, the key energy carrier is e-methane, a synthetic methane generated from green hydrogen and CO2. E-methane is carbon neutral because the amount of CO2 emitted from its combustion equals the amount of CO2 captured for its production. In addition, e-methane is more economical than other options such as hydrogen because e-methane can be used in the existing gas infrastructure and equipment with no need for replacement or modification. In addition to e-methane, the Daygas Group intends to utilize liquefied hydrogen and ammonia for decarbonization according to each energy carrier's attributes. While hydrogen and ammonia can play an important role in thermal power generation as carbon-free alternatives to fossil fuels, e-methane is the most suitable to meet the gas demand in the market, as a carbon-neutral gas supplied through the existing infrastructure to consumers. As part of our two-phased approach to carbon neutrality in the near term, we are accelerating fuel conversion to natural gas and expanding its usage to reduce society-wide emissions. 
while advancing carbon neutral technology development as a medium to long term goal. For example, replacing light fuel oil with natural gas and introducing energy saving technologies like CHP will significantly reduce CO2 emissions. CHP units are highly efficient in producing electricity and thermal energy from natural gas on consumption sites, leading to further emissions reduction and enhancing energy resilience against natural disasters. Natural gas pipelines and equipment installed during the energy transition can continue to be used for e methane, ensuring a seamless transition to our carbon neutral future without burdening consumers. Over the years, Daygas Group has reduced customers' emissions by converting fuels to natural gas and promoting high efficiency gas appliances. Regarding CHP units, our cumulative installed capacity has reached approximately 1.5 gigawatts since its launch in 1982, contributing to customers' significant energy savings, business continuity planning, and energy resilience. We intend to pursue these initiatives for society-wide emissions reduction, which constitutes a significant part of our carbon-neutral vision. Society-wide emissions reduction requires the concept of avoided emissions as a crucial component of net zero emissions. Avoided emissions mean quantified emissions reduced through one company's products and services provided to others. The Ministry of Economy, Trade and Industry defines a method to quantify avoided emissions in its guideline. However, companies' emissions are calculated based on the GHG protocol, which covers emissions throughout their entire supply chain, except avoided emissions. That means, even if a gas supplier contributes to reducing customers' emissions by providing natural gas to replace coal as a low-carbon power generation fuel, the gas supplier will only end up with an increase in its scope 3 emissions. To resolve this issue, we are working with relevant parties to enhance the recognition of avoided emissions concept as an indicator of society-wide emissions reduction. Under the Carbon Neutral Vision, we set targets for 2030, including 10 million tons of avoided emissions and 1% e-methane in the gas grid. In formulating the energy transition 2030, we have added another target, which is 5 million tons of CO2 emissions reduction across the domestic supply chain from the 2017 level. We intend to achieve these targets through the net zero emissions in the day gas groups, office buildings and vehicles, and the application of internal carbon pricing for an investment assessment purposes starting next year while advancing energy conservation and fuel conversion. Introducing 1% e-methane to the gas grid will be the start of generating the following four types of value to society. First is decarbonized heat demand. Thermal energy accounts for 60% of energy consumption in Japan. E-methane is especially effective in decarbonizing high-temperature heat, which cannot be generated by electricity. Second is reduced social cost. The cost of introducing E-methane is significantly lower than other carbon-neutral options, such as hydrogen, because E-methane is compatible with the existing gas infrastructure and equipment. Third is enhanced energy security. Geopolitical risk will be mitigated through diversified sourcing of e-methane produced in various locations in Japan and overseas. Fourth is Carbon Neutral Asia. Introducing e-methane will develop into a new industry in Japan and other markets in Asia, contributing to their environment conservation and economic growth. To achieve the 2030 target of 1% e-methane in the gas grid, the Day Gas Group aims to create an e-methane supply chain in Japan. We have been analyzing e-methane production sites and sources of renewable energy, hydrogen, and carbon dioxide. 
We are also exploring the possibilities of methanation, utilizing captured CO2 in cooperation with industrial circles and municipalities. The Degas Group also intends to build e-methane supply chains overseas. We have been conducting feasibility study for e-methane production in area with easy access to existing natural gas pipelines and liquefaction facilities in the North and South Americas, Australia, the Middle East, and Southeast Asia. We plan to establish multiple e-methane production plants in diverse locations for energy security in post-2030 e-methane market expansion in Japan. We also examine ways to establish e-methane markets in other Asian countries such as Singapore. The Day Gas Group pursues three types of methanation for commercialization. First is Sabatier methanation. We are collaborating with Impex to start a plant demonstration with the world's largest capacity of 400 normal cubic meters per hour in Nagaoka, Niigata Prefecture, as a project of NEDO. Second is biomethanation, a methane synthesis technology suitable for local consumption using biogas from kitchen waste and sewage sludge. We are preparing a demonstration at the World Expo 2025 Osaka Kansai to produce synthetic methane for the Expo using garbage from the venue. Third is SOEC methanation, which synthesizes methane directly from water and CO2 using SOEC co-electrolysis. This technology can achieve the highest energy efficiency without using hydrogen, which is required for Sabatier and biomethanation. We aim to commercialize Sabatier and biomethanation by 2030 and SOEC methanation by 2040. Besides our gas business, our power business also needs to be decarbonized. We are developing various renewable energy projects with partners, targeting 5 gigawatt of renewables development contribution, which means our capacity development and power procurement from markets and other players. We also strive to hit the mark of 50% renewable energy in our power portfolio in Japan by 2030. Other initiatives include introducing e-methane and hydrogen to power generation, achieving CCUS of CO2 from power plants, and developing virtual power plants and storage batteries for power grids. CO2 value chain development is a relatively new initiative the Day Gas Group has launched after the announcement of the carbon neutral vision. Once the value chain is established, we will pursue CCS by storing excess CO2 and CCU by utilizing customers' emitted CO2 to produce e-methane. Concurrently, we are conducting the proof of concept of Connex, a digital platform to visualize CO2 emissions across the value chains to establish a system to manage and transfer the environmental value of e-methane. The Daygas Group is developing decarbonization technologies by applying its proprietary know-how of gas synthesis, catalysts, fuel combustion, and materials. For hydrogen and ammonia combustion technology, we leverage our natural gas combustion expertise developed for customers. In the development of a small-scale ammonia engine system, we are collaborating with Toyota Industries Corporation. To generate green hydrogen and electricity using biomass, we are working on the chemical looping combustion technology. In a non-energy space, we are developing and marketing Space Cool, a radiative cooling material. The Daygas Group engages in these R&D activities including showcasing technologies and fostering alliances with partners at the Carbon Neutral Research Hub in Torishima, Osaka City. We plan to open a state-of-the-art R&D center in the vicinity in 2025 to expedite our decarbonization initiatives. In the residential sector, the Day Gas Group offers energy solutions for 3E, the environment, energy security, and economic efficiency 
and customers comfortable living through the optimal energy supply. For the environment, we aim to reduce CO2 emissions through energy saving by promoting high efficiency water heaters, renewable energy, and storage batteries, reducing 90% of power purchases and 80% of CO2 emissions is possible with a system combining fuel cells, batteries, and solar PV. For energy security, we promote Enafarm, a fuel cell unit for the residential sector, capable of standalone power generation in outages, combined with solar PV and batteries to enhance energy resilience against natural disasters. For economic efficiency, we provide solutions to minimize customers' energy bills by offering the optimal energy supply combining gas and electricity and free of charge solar PV installation services. Solar PV units allow customers to enjoy a significant reduction of power purchases from the grid and sell surplus electricity to Osaka Gas. For customers comfortable living, we offer a variety of gas appliances, such as highly reliable water heaters and hot water floor heating systems. Combining fuel cells, batteries, and solar PV, the Daygas Group proposes solutions to lifestyles with 3E plus comfortable living in the new normal with optimal energy systems and advanced energy management. The solutions can secure a stable energy supply even at times of natural disasters and compensate for the intermittency of renewable energy, contributing to a reliable district energy supply. In the commercial and industrial sectors, the Daygas Group provides solutions tailored to each customer's need to solve various energy issues in business operations, focusing on decarbonization, decentralization, and digitalization. Our energy decarbonization solutions include DeFire, an IoT service for energy saving, advanced utilization of gas and stable factory operation, de-airing and air conditioning and ventilation service, and de-bio, a service to reduce CO2 emissions by utilizing food waste and other biomass as energy. Our energy decentralization solution include D-Green, a solar PV power supply service, and D-Solar, a zero initial cost solar power generation service for customers' electricity consumption. Our digitalization solutions include one-stop service for CO2 emissions reduction and management across supply chains through the combination of D-Lineup decarbonization services and ASA Zero, a CO2 emissions visualization service. The Daygas Group companies take the lead in the energy transition by leveraging their respective strength to contribute to society-wide carbon neutrality as a responsible corporate group in the energy space, we strive to become a net zero emissions company committed to creating value for a sustainable future with our stakeholders.